Uh, in the previous video, we looked at you know how you would solve something like shine x is seven or cosh x equals five by using the definition and the exponential form and, and forming a quadratic that you can solve. Um, for these sorts of things, they come up so often. Um, you know, we'd like to have a uh, another way of doing it, and actually, um, it's, it's good for us to think about uh, you know the form of the inverse functions of these. So actually, if I you know had shine x equals seven, what this is going to allow us to do is just to say that you know that that means that uh, x equals shine inverse of 7 and then use a formula for it or x equals cosh inverse of 5 and use a formula for it so um, let's think about you know what a function y equals uh, cosh inverse of x uh, might might look like let's not worry about those particular examples um, then uh, this would mean that x is equal to uh, cosh y so x uh, equals e to the y plus e to the minus y uh, divided by 2. Um, and multiplying this through by 2 and then by e to the y in the same sort of way as we did when we were um, solving equations in the in a previous video um, that will give us 2x uh, e to the y equals e to the y squared uh, plus 1 and then writing this in a as a quadratic equation, the usual form e to the y squared minus 2x times e to the y plus 1 equals 0. So we've got a quadratic equation uh, in e to the y. And now uh, applying the uh, quadratic formula then, so um, so if you like, just to make this clear, I've got, you know, it's like z squared minus 2x times z plus 1 equals 0. So I'm solving for z or e to the y. So I've got z or uh, e to the y is equal to uh, minus b, so 2x plus or minus the square root of b squared, so minus 2x squared, that's 4x squared, minus 4 times 1 times 1, all divided by 2. Um, so the 2 cancels here and also in here, square root of 4 is 2, so this is just x plus or minus the square root of x squared minus 1 so that means that y is equal to the logarithm, the natural logarithm of x plus or minus the square root of uh, x squared minus 1. So what we've got here is a nice uh, logarithmic form of cosh inverse of x. So if I want to invert one of these values, if I wanted to go back here and do cosh inverse of 5, I could say well which values have cut have cosh 5, I could actually just put them into this formula and say well it's ln of 5 plus or minus the square root of uh, 5 squared minus 1 uh, which is uh, which is 24. Um, so that, that's a useful thing. Now if we just think about the uh, graph again of, of cosh x, you can see it has come out pretty much as we'd expected um, if you took a y value, a particular y value and invert it, we do generally get two values, except at one where we get just uh, one inverse value, and below one we don't get uh, we don't get any, and that fits this formula because um, if you think about it, if x is one, well this is one squared minus one, which is zero, so that term would disappear, and I just have log one, which is zero, just one solution, and if I took something smaller than one here. Um, I would get um, something here that's not defined. So if, say, you know, x uh, was 0, I would get here the square root of 0 squared minus 1. Uh, so I would be trying to do the logarithm of 0 uh, plus i, uh, the square root of minus 1. That's not going to, uh, it's not something we can make sense of at the moment. Um, and uh, if uh, x was a large negative number say or or even a small negative number so if I took minus 2 then I would get something like ln of minus 2 plus or minus the square root of uh, 3 and we can see here that um, even the larger one of these minus 2 plus the square root of 3 is still negative uh, so we can't take the log of a negative number so again that doesn't work so this does only work for um, this does only work for the values that we we wanted that we expected it to uh, so for x uh, greater than or equal to 1. So we've got cosh inverse of x um, is ln of x 
uh, plus the square root of x squared minus 1. I'm going to write just uh, ooh, uh, plus here um, because that makes it a function, so that's one particular, I've got one particular value. Um, of course, if I'm solving the equation uh, cos x equals 5, um, I would want the two different values, which are going to be the positive, include the positive and the negative here. Um, but this is what I would call the principal value of, of um, cos inverse of x, uh, just the positive value. But you know, we also think of this negative one. Now, one question you might be asking here is that on the graph, of course, we expect the two possible inverse points for uh, a value to be just plus or minus each other, right? You know, this is symmetric about the y-axis. So, you know, if I've got oh, you know, plus two here, I have minus two here. Um, but at the moment, that's not in. It's not in that form, is it? I mean, the two different values. You know, we've got ln of uh, x plus or minus the square root of uh, x squared minus one. Um, but in fact, it does uh, turn out to be okay because if I took if I take this ln x minus x squared minus one, and I'm gonna uh, essentially turn this into a fraction and multiply um, so if, if I if I look at just ln of x minus root x squared minus 1, the second solution, and, and multiply it top or bottom by x plus the square root of x squared minus 1 x times x minus the square root of x squared minus 1 and on the bottom we'll have x plus the square root of x squared minus 1 um, if you if you look at the top here, I've actually kind of got the difference of two squares. It's, you know, x plus something times x minus something. So actually that's just uh, x squared minus the square root of x squared minus 1 squared, i.e. just minus the square root of x squared minus 1. And on the bottom we've got uh, just x plus the square root of x squared minus 1 then. So this is x squared minus x squared, so they cancel, and I've got minus minus 1. So actually this is all just log of uh, 1 divided by x plus root x squared minus 1 and by the rules of logarithms uh, the logarithm of 1 over a is minus the logarithm of a so this is minus the logarithm of x plus the square root of x squared minus 1 so actually uh, this second uh, inverse point x ln of x minus the square root of x squared minus 1 is minus uh, the first one. So that fits with what we expect uh, from the graph that we've got just one being the, the negative uh, of the other. Now, um, you can do exactly the same sort of thing for shine and um, and uh, tan and uh, prove uh, logarithmic forms for, for shine um, uh, and Tanch, and in fact you get that shine uh, inverse of x is uh, ln of uh, x plus the square root of x squared minus 1. Um, if you follow through that argument, you need to think carefully about why you actually can't have the equivalent uh, negative value there. If you think to the graph of shine x, um, you, know, you only really expect one solution and try and make some sense of that, but make sure your argument is watertight. I'm not going to do that here. I'll leave that as an exercise. Uh, and also, if you do the inverse um, tanch of x, you can show that you get 1 half uh, ln 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x. And again, same method, um, and you can attempt to prove that one yourself.